Hello everybody, it's me again, just back with a little video, a little update video. Um, haven't been able to put as much time into this as I would like to, um, you know, with work and everything, but also the photo etch stuff, as much as I love the detail you get with photo etch stuff, it is very time consuming, okay, very time consuming. It's worth it, believe me. It's worth it, but it's very, it's very time consuming. That's why my update videos doesn't look like I've got a lot done, you know, in between videos. But I actually, you know, have gotten quite a bit done, you know, in the grand scheme of things. So, since the last update video, I've gotten, I did the, uh, got the anchor chains, got them on there, um. Got some, you know, a few little odds and ends, you know, hatches and, and ladders and got more guns mounted and, you know, ammo boxes and storage boxes and, you know, different things that I've got to go back. Obviously, I've got to go back and paint, you know, when it's all said and done, but I can paint those things with a brush. Um, but yeah, so yeah, since the last update, I've gotten... A bit done. I'm not, you know, like, let's see, since the last update, I've got the uh, forward um, tripod, I guess you call it. I don't know the official name. Um, obviously, it still needs to be painted because I just literally finished this up yesterday. And, uh, yes, this one thing took me the whole friggin day it is just because every tiny except for this cap right on top here every single thing on here and uh, well aside from these these you know aluminum rod or aluminum tubes that i'm using in place of these these are the kit supplied parts you know as far as the the legs for the for the tripods so yeah, you see the you know you see why I went with the tubing instead of the uh, you know kit supplied stuff. But anyway, so yes, this entire thing is photo etch, and uh, yeah, you, you can see the ladders. I don't know this camera is not as good as my old one. Um, it doesn't focus quite as good. There we go. It's a little bit better but you know there's the clock the famous clock and you know you got ladders and hatchways there's supposed to be a couple of gun or, um, spotlights I think either spotlights or guns go up on this part you know on those geez that's even worse well this this new phone the camera on this new phone is not that great so I apologize for that but anyway so yeah this whole thing Took me the entire day yesterday because the entire thing is photo etch and like i said before if you're an amateur at photo etch like i was um so this this is the the funnel the only thing you use the kit supplied you know funnel but all the parts on there including the opening you gotta you gotta cut that opening out there um but uh yeah, there's there's more kit supplied stuff in this, but everything on the outside, aside from this this pipe and and this one up on top, is everything else is photo etch. Um, and you have to anneal a lot of these things that you gotta curve. Yeah, this focus on this thing ain't that great. Sorry. Um, so yeah, there's some guns that are supposed to go up here too that I haven't put on yet. Um, yeah, and that's the reason they're not uh, glued onto the deck or anything like that, because I still have to paint them. Um, there's some decking that I, that I got done a while back. Um, it's a combination of photo etch and kit parts, and it tells you what parts to cut off. Um, the photo etch sheets that you get with the photo etch, um... 
Yeah, and it'll show you, oops, upside down, hello. It shows you what to cut off, to what to get rid of. Um, like here, you gotta, you gotta basically scrape those ladders off, the, the molded ladders, and then you put on photo etch ladders in the exact same spot. Um, you know, it's one of the cranes, one of the two cranes. I haven't built that yet, obviously. Um, yeah, the, uh, the crane for the back, and I still got to work on the boats, and, and this is the... This is the uh, top mount for the other tripod. But everything in red, as you go through this, everything in red means you gotta cut it out. You gotta get rid of it. So, including on the little captain's launches and things of that nature, there's little parts that you have to cut off. Everything in red according to this, you know, according to this. So there's going to be a lot of kit parts that I'm not going to use, obviously. So there we are upside down again. Um, so yeah, all these, again, all these things in red, you have to cut out, including parts of the, the deck there. And that... Oops. This part that you cut off here, the plastic, you replace here with the photo etch. So that's, whoops, yeah, I know. You, if you guys have been watching me long enough, you know my camera, my camera work sucks balls. So please forgive me on that. See, right here. See, everything in red, you gotta cut off. That's part of this, this here. So, you know, you look in there, I've got ladders, and there's photo etch pieces on, on these. So some of the things you use the kit parts and you add photo etch to, and some pieces like on this, they have complete photo etch parts that replace the kit parts. There we go. That's a little better focus anyway. So yeah. And you see the ladders in there. <sighs> My big shaky hands. Some of these things are a real challenge for me. You know, and these things aren't 100% perfectly bent and, and whatnot. But... I, I count myself very fortunate that I'm able to figure it out as far as this. So anyway, yeah, this is what I've been working on. It's a process, slow going process. Um, you know, you got your photo etch sheets here with photo etch stuff. And some of this stuff is super tiny and very tedious. And, uh, you know... So, yeah, it's, 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 like I said, it's very time consuming. Very, very time consuming. Um, but it's worth it in the end, I think. I mean, this thing, again, it's not going to be museum quality by any means. But for my own personal display and my own personal, you know, whatever is, is fine for me. I just, I enjoy building these things, so, um... Yeah, this is just a piece of tubing that I've got in here. See, this is just the aluminum tubing. It is, let me see here. This is what I bought. That's the size tubing I'm using. Now, obviously, I got it at Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, and it works perfectly. I mean, you might have to open up some of the holes that the, the, you know, that these smaller kit pieces were supposed to go into. Um, yeah, the smaller kit pieces were supposed to go into and use, and I use the tubing. Okay, so that's me. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, as far as the length... 
Edward, that's who supplies this, they give you the measurements for the legs. So they they don't necessarily tell you to use, you know, aluminum or copper rod or brass rod, whatever. You can use, you know, sprue parts, I suppose, if you wanted to, but they give you they give you the measurements for the legs of the of the different tripods and the measurements are pretty accurate um so yeah let's see here see this is the measurements for the tripod here and it's not one to one on the sheet it's not you you need to actually measure it out what it says there that's what i would suggest if you try just going by it's pretty close but when you know it's it's not exact it's just showing you a reference so yeah and uh like i said you know if you, you folks that have been watching and stop into my channel every now and again you know my camera work sucks so I try to get the point, get the point across but and then, and then it shows you where you know how far the legs go down all the way to the deck um, and then how far apart the, the base is and you know so forth and so on and uh, these these things all separate they're all separate little little triangles that you've got to cut out and then you've got to and you've got to file the little the little sprue tabs off of them because you know like this here this piece right here yeah it looks like yeah that's that's pretty nice and I'll show you what it actually looks like when it comes when it's on the sprue so that piece is that piece right there and this turret top here, right here, that's what it looks like on the sprue. Fairly easy to bend for the most part. But yeah, then you've got these ladders, different ladders. Um, the ladders are flat, obviously. You know, ladders come flat and you bend them, but then also... The slats, or the, the steps of the ladder, you have to bend those. Those tiny little freaking slats, you have to bend those, you know, because they're the steps. Yeah, that's, again, tedious. Very, very tedious. But again, it's worth it. I'm taking my time on this, and I said that with the very first video. I said it was going to take me time to, to work on this. And it is, <laughs> because, like I said, the, the photo etch is very tedious, very time-consuming, um, worth every every bit of it. Sometimes you gotta get up, walk away for a while, and so forth. Um, the bending tools, the bending things, come in very handy. Um, I've got this kit here with different different size rods and there's a little there's a, a big block down there that you set you can set stuff in push the rod down and it you know it curves things as well um, a lot of the photo etch stuff if you've never worked with photo etch before it's it's better like for round things that are round like this here up here um, these here where you know you bend around anything you know round shaped if you anneal it first it's easier to work with which is kind of funny because photo etch <laughs> when it's on the sprue and you're trying not to bend stuff it bends so easily this stuff bends i mean it's super thin but it's so easy to bend when you don't want to bend it but the minute you need to bend something, especially something round, you know, that shit will not bend. <laughs> okay. 
So go figure. I, I'm constantly trying to keep from bending the photo etch while it's still on the sprues because then I have to flatten it out prior to me doing what I need to do. So, yeah, <sighs> it's crazy. But yeah, there's a lot of things I have to hand paint. And that's that's fine. That's fine. Because setting up my airbrush and painting every time I need to paint something is kind of a pain for me. You know, maybe I'm just, I'm probably just complaining. But anyway, so here's something else that I, that I picked up. Squadron at Sea. It's kind of, I, I'm using this as a reference book. Okay. And uh, this thing is super neat, man. It's got tons, tons of historic photos in there. And I use it for reference material. You know, because sometimes, especially the photo etch kits, it, it's sometimes it's real vague on how things were and... And, you know, this is prior, obviously, when it still had the, the lattice work um, towers before the refit and they put the tripods in. But this thing has so, got so much information, so much information. It's, 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 like I said, for reference material, it's freaking light. It's, it's great. If you want to find out what how things were, where they're pointed, how they're positioned, so forth and so on. Obviously, now this is after the refit. They got the tripods on. You know, it's it's pretty cool, man. This book is great. Great. So if... Oh, there I go, knocking shit off the table. Anyway, so, yeah, if you haven't built this... And you're thinking about building it, maybe, not because of my video, or just because you've been wanting to. Get this book. I got this on Amazon. It wasn't terribly expensive. I can't remember what I paid for it. But as as a reference, it's it's awesome. I mean, all the pictures are in color, or excuse me, black and white. And it's all obviously from the time it was the keel was laid till till the uh, you know the Pearl Harbor attack. Um, there's some really interesting information. Um, back in the day, apparently, the presidents, the you know, obviously the presidents of the United States, would use these battleships as their own personal freaking vacation yacht. I kid you not. This one, this one, I think was Truman or Roosevelt, one or the other, used this, used the Arizona prior to the war as a vacation yacht. Brought him the family, the dog, everything. They there's a special flag that they that they hoist when the president's on the ship. Um, but yeah, they used a, a battleship <laughs> as a vacation yacht. Now you probably you would never see shit like that today, because obviously we don't have any battleships. But you know you wouldn't see a sitting president using a a warship as their personal vacation yacht. You know, paid for by the taxpayers of the United States. You know, yay us. But it's <laughs> just interesting stuff. So, yeah, it's... I'm sure there's probably more detailed books out there, you know. But this one, this one I, I found is, is very helpful. And it's very interesting to read and to look, you know. So, reference material. Never hurts. Anyway, so I guess that'll be it for this installment where I pick up my mess that I just made. All the shit that I had on here is now spread all over the floor. Thank you very much. But, you know. Anyway, so I hope everybody's doing well, enjoying the, the summer. It's starting to get hot out here. Actually had to turn the AC on this past week. Yay. It was nice having the house opened up, though. For a while. I mean, we had we had a fairly long spring, and it was pretty nice here, you know, in the 70s during the day, in the 50s and 60s at night. Good sleeping weather, especially with the window open. But anyway, so I hope everybody's doing well, and uh, thank you for watching. 
Um, you can subscribe if you choose to. If you think my channel's crap, that's fine too. Because like I said, I just do it. Just, you know, maybe help people give them ideas or whatever. So, yeah. The decking turned out pretty good, man. I'm pr I'm happy with it. It was it was not 100% accurate as far as the deck layout. I mean, it's a little off in a few places, you can tell. Um, but for the most part, it lined up pretty pretty close. So, yeah. I'm happy with it. Um, it did get a little thin up here toward the front, so that center piece, that little center arrow there, ended up tearing off of the, it was all one piece, but it was so tiny thin up there toward the front that, uh, yeah, it ended up being a separate piece, but that's okay. Like I said, this is for my own personal, you know, display. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, I still got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. I've still got all the lifeboats. I still got to build and do the photo etch for all the lifeboats. I've still got the other tripod, the you know the aft tower, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot to do. Still a lot to do. I got to do the cranes, all three of the cranes. I got to do the the catapult in the rear there. I got to do the airplanes. I got to get all that crap painted up. So it's it's still, I got a long way to go. Long way to go. But it's turned out pretty good so far. Like I said, I got a lot of hand painting to do. You know, like pieces that, you know, those ladders there and the ladders here and, and these bulkheads here that, you know, they had you cut off the plastic part and then put the metal photo etch part right back in its place um so yeah these gangplanks here one here and one on the other side i've still got some painting and touch-up painting to do and anyway so i hope everybody's doing well like i said before thanks for stopping by i will try to post more videos as i get more stuff done and uh i'll talk to y'all later bye